funny. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not good at the center. People are making jokes about me that we are adopting this guy and I'm trying to prove them wrong. Okay. In general, critics are making jokes about you. Right. Uh, just a little bit background about myself. I'm a 13 years experience computer designer, and I'm here from industry. And so part of you know your researchers actually, I can feel them. Uh, what's going to happen inside a project? Uh, and my background is architecture, and I, you know, developed uh, my my skills related to computational design using different algorithms to solve problems. And uh, what you see here, uh, which represents my topic, uh, uh, it's about AI integrated solutions for that decarbonizing a architecture, engineering, and construction. And uh, since I'm at the early stage of uh, conducting this into a research, into a PhD project, uh, you may see different, you know, uh, resources that we have when it comes to design something, design a building that's going to be built. And uh, there are many procedures, many, you know, uh, decisions that should be well informed uh, before, you know, getting into actual action. And uh, within different resources, like I'm talking about sensors, I'm talking about different ideas and, you know, um, scenarios that you guys actually talked earlier. Uh, and I'm trying to conceive a way to find where actually carbon is leakage and uh, within these procedures, I mean. So uh, by means of that, uh, something that was really interesting about your project, especially Said, uh, which represented about uh, relations between parameters that are affected into any kind of decision. And in that case, I believe uh, we need something to find these kind of connections between different factors that we have, for example, in architecture, structurally wise speaking, environmentally, you know, uh, speaking, uh, and all of these kind of factors have uh, their own parameters that we need to find out which are, you know, connected to the other to fine tune any model that we want to use. For example, uh, I, I believe uh, graph neural network, as you all mentioned, uh, would definitely be uh, a reliable uh, you know, solution to find these kind of connections at the first stage. The second stage, which I'm really, uh, you know, enthusiastic uh, about is to find uh, the functions between the parameters that gives us the informed decision. I'm talking about the way of the connections between different nodes of a graph. Uh, so by that uh, kind of thought in our mind, uh, any decisions that we make, no matter what, uh, no matter where it comes from, architecture, engineering, and construction, give us, you know, an opportunity to um, have a bridge between the, these kind of stages. I mean, an architect needs to know about how his or her decisions would affect engineering, and uh, again, in, in the next stage of construction. So within these connections, which I believe have been left over, uh, we can find the leakage of carbon. And that is why I'm trying to conceive here. So in a matter of uh, using simulation that you mentioned, uh, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to you know, uh, use my skills uh, for um, providing a specific you know, scenario uh, to feed the algorithm and uh, find uh, which kind of decision, or better say what decision we make and how it actually affects the carbon. Uh, and then it's a later stage uh, using, you know, uh, AI to find the patterns of these kind of decisions between parameters and their relation. Maybe, you know, at the later stage, we can find something like performative design, data-driven engineering, and design of our fabrication represent of A, E, and C to have intelligent design and intelligent production. Uh, that's the main topic I'm trying to, you know, conceive uh, towards the main question and different aspects that I can cover. Although this is really wide, I you know, and uh, I believe, you know, at the later stage, I would come up with some sort of specific hatch 
like, okay, this is the part uh, my PhD would be uh, getting along about. And yeah, that was something to state about. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so now we can uh, have the lunch and we can continue with the common discussion around the whole table. Um, to everybody that is on the uh, connected online, so you can also grab something and stay and participate in the discussion. So, we have a little bit you can walk around the table. <laughs> And uh, just for break the lunch. Oh, what's your topic? Uh, <laughs> <laughs>